meetings, food drive, cap and gown, and more to come your way on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Greetings from the studio to your classroom. I'm your host, Juliet. And I'm the better host, Violet. Mr. Robbins' period four class should take study materials and meet in room 212. I guess we won't be swimming today. There will also be a mandatory student council, student ambassador meeting Wednesday during community. For lunch, in lines one and two, chicken snap wraps. In line three, soup and salad bar. Line four, baked mozzarella cheese sticks or French bread pizza. And line five is closed. Happy birthday to anyone that had one over the weekend. Now to weather and sports. Thanks guys, as you were coming in today, the temperature was at 51 degrees with rain and wind speeds of 13, up to 13. Over tonight, we should still be, we should get in the lows of 20 with the rain coming down on us. That's it for weather, now to sports with Abby. Thanks guys. On Sunday, the bowling team traveled to Greencastle to face Western Boone and came home with a win. With the win, the girls are 6-2 and two on the season and still in second. Top bowlers were Leah Schaetzer with a score of 138 and Hannah Anderson with 170. Next match will be December 15th, next Sunday, in Lebanon against local rival Clinton Prairie. The boys' basketball team fell to Western Saturday night, 82-52. The team came out slow on both ends and struggled to get consistent stops throughout the night. Trey Frazier led the offense, putting up 24 points on 8 out of 11 shooting. The JV team fell to Western as well, 51-46. Connor Boone had a solid night, scoring 19 points and 7 steals. Sam Michael played well on the defensive end, rebounding and cutting off drives. Both teams open up the conference season on Friday at Tri-West, then back home Saturday against Lewis Cass. Congratulations to Reese Mitchell, Jade Ayers, and Tyler Gooden on being selected as members of the large school Lafayette All-Area team. Congrats and way to represent. The hot dog wrestlers had a great start to the season, going 5-0 at the Weibo Invite. Armando, Armando, Roa, Elijah Anthony, Jose Bautista, and Juan Campos all went 5-0 on the day. James Osler, Franzel Pozos, and Diego Nava went 4-1. A big thank you goes out to Haley Cook, Erica Pillion, and Emily Shepard. They did an outstanding job on video and meet result graphics. This week is full of action with the team hosting Weibo on Tuesday, They'll fly on Thursday and Frankfurt invite Saturday. We will be streaming the meet live Thursday right here on the Hot Dog Network. That wraps it up for sports. Now back to the studio. Deca cookies are hopefully back this week. So look for a loose dollar bill to get yourself a cookie. Reminder to bring in your items for your community class for the FHS Student Council Deca Food Drive. That ends this Thursday. Friday, December 13th during lunchtime, you will need your height and weight if you are ordering your cap and gown. A down payment must be made at the time of the ordering. Beginning January 1st, 2020, cap and gun orders will cost $52.53, so make sure to put in your order earlier. Make sure to check out more on your favorite hot dog network, and don't forget to like and subscribe. In honor of Juice World, drink all the juice you can. Now to the highlight of your day besides me and the train this morning, it's me Monday.